here's something to think about. You can't just add Jesus to your life. You must submit your life to him. You know, Galatians 2.20, the apostle Paul says, I have been, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, but yet not I. Christ lives within me. You want the abundant life that the Bible is talking about? Well, that's the life of Jesus. Let him live his life through you. You know, this is the only way you can live this abundant life that he promises you in his word, because it is not your life. It is his life. This is the only way that the devil will flee from you. The Bible says that in James 4, 7, submit yourself, therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. He's going to flee from you because you have surrendered, submitted your life to God. And you are allowing him to live his life through you. That means he's going to be flowing. You know, his fruit's going to be flowing out of you. The devil has no chance against that. Not at all. This is the only way you will walk through life victoriously. Yes, you will still have trials and tribulations. But if you submit your life to him, he will walk you through them. He will get you to the other side. And along with him comes his peace and comes his wisdom. Submitting your life to Jesus simply means you are allowing him to live his abundant life through you. And you do this by obeying his voice and his promptings inside of you. He says, do this, sign up for this, say this, do it. The God of all wisdom, the creator of the universe, when he tells you to do something, don't you know it's going to be the best thing for you to do? Submit your life to God and the devil will flee.